Well, fall is definitely my favorite time of year. Um, I like the nice warm days and the cool nights. And cool nights are a perfect time to serve a soup or a stew. And so today we're going to um, help you learn how to create your own special soup um, mixture that is something that your family will enjoy. So today um, we're going to actually demonstrate, it's called quick and easy taco soup. And um, soups come in many forms. This is um, kind of a spicy meat soup. We're also going to be sending home a better than canned chili recipe that um, instead of going to the store and buying a can of chili and opening it up and heating it, it is a quick and easy way to create a really delicious chili that you can kind of control how hot you like it, how sal salty you like it. And we're also going to send you a cream-based soup recipe, uh, easy potato soup recipe. And in addition to those three recipes that you can try, we're also going to send you the Create a Soup um, brochure from Utah State University Extension that also will give you lots of different ideas of soup combinations and some extra recipes. So you should be set for the fall, winter, fall and winter days ahead to create a quick and easy meal for your family. So today I've already prepared everything ahead of time and so today we're going to be using the crock pot to cook in and if you don't have a crock pot that is a piece of equipment you may want to invest in it makes life really pretty simple you can get a meal put together in the morning you can go off to school to work and when you come home that evening you'll have your total meal ready you may want to add a salad or a crusty loaf of bread but basically your main dish will be done. A crock pot is a um, piece of equipment that you need to cook with moisture. And so don't ever just put something in the crock pot without adding some sort of liquid, water, broth, um, other liquids. Um, you'll find recipes that maybe you can add beer or whatever to give it that um, really robust flavor. But it needs liquid in, to, in it to cook because there's a lot of steam generated and that helps cook and make your um, foods in here really tender. When you're cooking in a crock pot, always start out on high, get that temperature up really quickly, and then you can turn it down to low or to simmer. But if you start on simmer, it may never reach a acceptable internal temperature to kill any bacteria. So we want to get it on high, get it hot, get the germs killed, and then you can put it back down to low to cook the rest of the day. So if you get a crock pot or have one, keep that instruction book handy. Usually it has lots of delicious recipes included in your um, instruction manual, plus how to clean them and how to take care of them. So with that, we're going to, um, I've ground our gr browned our ground beef. And um, again, if you have store-bought um, beef, you may want to get rid of all that grease that will generate when you um, brown it and because you don't want that in your soup. This recipe would also work really, really well if you have a lot of wild game hamburger, deer, antelope, elk, whatever you might have on hand. Wild game meat is usually less fatty than um, beef. So you may even had to add a little oil to that to get it to brown really nicely. So next we're going to add a half an onion. And this was the most gigantic onion we've ever seen. And so if you don't like that much onion, um, you could cut it in half. We're onion lovers at our house, so we cook with onion in everything. So you can adjust that as you like. This is another recipe that if you had some 
jalapenos or um, green peppers, if you like those, you can add them into the mix. The next is um, two cans of diced tomatoes. And of course today at our store, just like probably at your grocery store, it's always hit and miss what is going to be available. Um, I usually like to use the petite diced tomatoes or you could use crushed tomatoes, whatever. Um, of course they had no petite diced tomatoes or crushed tomatoes today. so. We're just using regular diced tomatoes. The next ingredient is um, corn. You can either use um, canned corn or frozen corn. Um, I prefer frozen corn over canned corn, and it calls for 15 ounces. This bag is 12 ounces, so we're going to use it, and once it gets cooking, if it looks like we need a little more corn, we can add another partial bag. Our next ingredient is some tomato sauce to give it some nice, rich, um, kind of meaty liquid. Our next ingredient, and this is an optional one, um, we're using one can of kidney beans, and always when you use any sort of canned beans, um, take them out of the can, put them in a colander, and rinse, rinse off that kind of um, soupy sauce that they're in. You want to do that because that um, eliminates a lot of sodium that has been used in canning those beans. And it also eliminates some of the gas that comes along with eating canned beans. You could also use um, dried beans that you have cooked ahead of time. And the same principle there, once they're cooked, you want to rinse them really well to get rid of the gaseous um, liquid that forms. So we'll put those in. You could also use um, chili beans, black beans, um, dark red kidney beans. These are light red kidney beans. So you can use whatever is your favorite kind of, of bean. Then we're going to add one cup of water. Like I said, you need to um, make sure that you always have liquid in your um, crock pot as it cooks. Today we're going to use some of the taco seasoning mix that um, hopefully You've all seen that video we did, and um, the one thing I forgot to mention in that video is when you put this in your cupboard, just like if you were doing canned goods, always write on the lid what it is, because once you start making your own um, spice and herb combinations, this might look just like some other one that you have created, and you might get the wrong spice in your dish. So. Um, today we're going to use two tablespoons of our taco seasoning mix. That would be equivalent to one envelope of taco seasoning mix that you would buy in the grocery store. Again, just like in the video we talked about, this is lower in sodium. And also we like it a little less spicy, so we've adjusted the amount of red pepper flakes that we put in our taco seasoning. But if you like it spicier, you can make it spicier. What? Oh, there's also no preservatives in this, no MSG. Um, so if someone in your family cannot tolerate preservatives or MSG, this is a perfect um, thing because all of the commercially made ones have preservatives and most of them have MSG in them. So we're going to put just a teaspoon of salt. And again, you always want to measure over something else, not over our pot of soup in case your hand slips and you get a lot more salt than you, than you bargained for. And we're going to add one half teaspoon of pepper. And when this comes done, if it needs more seasoning, you can add more seasoning, salt and pepper at that point in time. So what we're going to do, 
Um, we're going to turn it on high. We're going to stir it up really good. Then we're going to turn our crock pot on high and let it cook on high for an hour or until it is simmering. And I'm really excited. This is kind of late in the after, or afternoon for us here. So once it simmers for an hour, and um, it's going to be just about time for us to go home from work. So luckily, it'll then cook the rest of the time, which is um, about four hours on low. So... Um, It'll be done for supper time tonight, and I won't have to cook when I get home. So that's a really a plus for me. And um, so I can carry my crock pot. It has a locking lid, and I will carry my crock pot home, plug it back in when I get home, and let it finish its four hours of cooking. So with that, we will turn it on high and let it get to cooking. So. With that, we hope um, you have enjoyed learning how to make a, a quick and easy soup, um, a very hearty meal. We might have some uh, tortilla chips with this tonight and probably a tossed green salad. And you could sprinkle those um, tortilla chips on top or eat them off to the side. And then you could top this with some grated cheese, some sour cream, some chopped green onions, kind of whatever your garnish you would like. Um, even some avocado slices or a little guacamole, if you um, like that, would be a great addition to this soup. So with that, I think we'll close. Until next time, happy cooking.